introducing the Larson twins, and now you'll really get to see him, Tony Baggiano. I, uh, I was given some prepared remarks, but I wanted to tell a story or two about the twins. No jokes. Uh, about the twins before I got started. Back in the, in the uh, early 80s and, and late, uh, in mid uh, 80s and late 90s, I gotta uh, tell you, I used to go to a lot of tournaments that the twins were at. And one day at the Masters, one of them came up and said, we want you to be our papa, because Tori always called me papa. I said, well, that's great. I I'd love to be your papa. They said, well, there's some things that come along with that. And I said, like what? Like you're getting ready to pull our release. I said, well, where's your dad? He's not here. You're our papa, so you're going to pull release. Well, the thing I hated more than anything was pulling release for skiers. But I didn't. Then the next year and the next year, I would go hide behind a building or something when it came time for a woman's trick, so they wouldn't ask me. And they would always come and find me, and I'd end up pulling release. Uh, now, one other story I want to tell that nobody knows about, and they may not appreciate me telling this, but there was a pro tournament. Now, you think it's cold and wet here. This was in England. It was colder, rain, freezing, and it turned out that they tied. It was a complete tie. So they had to go out for a runoff. And as I recall, Tom went out first. Is that right? Tom went out first and came back in. And Britt got her and said, please go out for me. Please, it's so cold, I don't want to go out there. If you win, you can keep the money. I don't want to go out there again. So they traded numbers, Tom went back out, and believe it or not, Tom won. Britt actually won because it was Britt's number, but Tom got the money. <laughs> now, dominance in trick skiing event for a considerable period of time is not unusual among elite skiers that are in the Hall of Fame. At least six of the 32 competitors that are in the Hall of Fame uh, have been trick specialists. And some of those have used tricks as their way to the overall fame. Even the inclusion of sisters is not uncommon. For Anna Maria and Vi uh, Maria Victoria Carrasco fall squarely into that category. But the Larson twins, Britt Larson Kovac and Britt Tom Larson Han, will probably remain unique in being inducted jointly as a single entry into the records of the Hall of Fame. The committee felt this was appropriate, not only because they are identical twins, but because they so often use the same trick run with the winner of the event depending on who's a bit faster, a little more accurate, or heaven forbid, didn't fall. <clears throat> The Larson twins competed in seven world championships, and while neither won a medal in their first one in London in 1987, one or the other won the title for the next six worlds. Tom won five trick event medals, four of them gold, and Britt won six, two of them gold. Their trick skiing also dominated the U.S. Masters during the same period that Tom held the world record and that was from 1988 to 1999. I am pleased to announce the induction into the International Water Ski Hall of Fame of a matched pair of dominant woman tricker skiers for the closing years of the 20th century, Britt and Tom Larson.
I'm always on the left and she's always on the right, so we want to make sure this was set, because the rest of our speech is set, but this part wasn't. <laughs> well, anyways, um, the other day when I was on the phone talking with Tom, Carol Lowe from AWSA gave us a call and said she had some exciting news and wanted to do a three-way call with us. A few minutes passed, and while a few minutes passed while making that happen, that was the moment our minds began to race, and we were wondering what this could be all about. Is it Ronnie Barton or Corey Pickus being inducted? No, they're still skiing. Is it Tony Baggiano skiing again? No, he only skis once or twice a year like this. I know it. It's our dad. He's being inducted. How exciting. He's going to be recognized for all he has done for this sport. The phone rings. It's Carol. And we giggle a little with the thought of the news that she may be telling us. We soon find out it is not our dad, but that there is an International Water Ski Hall of Fame and that IWSF has chosen us to be inductees, along with the great thrill and honor came some sadness. A sadness in knowing that we are being recognized for our years of hard work and dedication and accomplishments without recognition of the person who made it all possible. Maybe it was because of some of Dad's really strange, crazy training ideas. Trick skiing on an ice rink? Really, Dad. A little crazy. Is that necessary? Leaving school for two to three weeks? At least twice a year? One wasn't enough? Or how about that time when Dad said, you've skied 56 days in a row. Do you really want to take a break now? Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> but is this determination, along with creative thinking, and high expectations that goals are achieved and world-class athletes are created? Our parents may not realize that they succeeded in making this mark in the world by having daughters that appreciate what it takes to be an amazing parent. Now, as parents, I with two and Tom with five, we have a new perspective and awareness of all that it takes to be a great parent as we struggle with the same task ourselves. We are honored that IWSF has considered us and our accomplishments worthy of international recognition in trick skiing. And a special thanks to all of the officials and judges and media and coaches sponsors, and competitors that truly make the competition process possible. As we look back and reflect and smile on how all of these people have created lasting, beautiful, lifelong memories and relationships. We would also like to thank our mother for her years of unconditional love, guidance, mediation, and counseling that was the glue that held this family together, as well as our 95-year-old grandmother, who is here today to celebrate our induction. As well, we also have wonderful supportive husbands who unfortunately could not be here with us because they're taking care of all of the kids. <laughs> With this, we ask you to join us as we raise our glasses to toast our father and our coach. Dad, we along with many skiers around the world deeply appreciate your passion, love, commitment, time, effort, energy to the sport of skiing and to us. We are proud to dedicate this award to you.
Oh, I finally figured out how to tell the difference between the two of them. One likes red wine and the other likes white wine. <laughs>